Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The History Rescuer. My name is India and I'm going to be talking to you today about graveyard picnics. The idea of having lunch in a cemetery might seem to some as a bit morbid and to others as something that's downright offensive, but for a few decades in the late 19th and then early 20th century, it was an immensely popular thing to do in the UK and in the United States of America. However, it wasn't only the Victorians who treated graveyards as picnic spots. In fact, this practice has been going on for millennia. And yes, that's not an exaggeration. The Romans had a law that dictated that human bodies could not be buried within city walls. Now, whilst this was attributed to mythological and religious reasons, there was a belief that ghosts and evil spirits came about as a result of uh, being buried within city walls. But as a result of this practice, most of the main uh, trade routes in and out of towns and cities during the Roman Empire were lined usually with funerary monuments and with cemeteries. There were a couple of social repercussions for this practice of burying the dead outside the city walls and one of those is that many tombstones, uh, usually those of the wealthy, uh, were used as a means of kind of performing like a, a costly display of wealth and they would ha often serve functional purposes such as being like a park bench essentially that had an inscription upon it saying things along the lines of uh, Caius Tullius uh, invites you to sit here and remember him on your journey into the city and pay thanks to this family for doing so and for paying for this monument. Um, other kinds were monuments that had drinking fountains installed upon them and to be clear these were all funerary monuments. There would be cremated remains somewhere within them and that was just sort of a thing to do. It was almost a way of advertising to people and traders and people from outside of the city who the wealthy were and um, a way to, it was even almost a political maneuver by families to promote their own uh, magnanimity within the town. So this practice of sitting and eating amongst the dead or watering your horses amongst the dead and just performing everyday tasks amongst the dead was something that was very common and normalized within Roman society and that's very much reflected in uh, funerary architecture within that time period. So when we fast forward to the Victorian era uh, we have to sort of recognize those classical influences upon culture at the time. Post enlightenment there was a huge move towards uh, reading the classics and everyone was learning Latin and everyone was using Latin and there was a real revival of Greco-Roman history and Greco-Roman cultural hallmarks and you can see that reflected a lot in funerary monuments from sort of the 1870s on through to about 1910, even further, you know, there's there's definitely uh, a period in which uh, Greco-Roman symbolism and iconography is used as a way of conveying meaning within funerary monuments for the Victorian era and even earlier a little bit in the Regency as well. Let's be clear that the Greco-Roman cultural influence over the Victorian era and over Western uh, culture during the post-enlightenment sort of date range, if you will, the early modernity date range, uh, that it, it wasn't a direct influence itself upon the practice of uh, picnicking amongst graves and picnicking amongst cemeteries. One of the major reasons for the practice evolving and being popularized was that public facilities just weren't as prolific in those times and one of the few places that was deliberately beautified within small towns, big towns, cities was the cemetery. It was one of the few places that was leafy and shady and uh, a nice place to break from the hubbub and the industrialization of cities during that time. Um, and so the popularity of these green spaces definitely uh, was a forerunner for big public parks movements uh, during the 
Ed the late Victorian and Edwardian eras. Of course, the practice of picnicking within a graveyard did stretch beyond the fact that they were beautiful places. During that time period, there were higher mortality rates amongst children and amongst adults as well. And, you know, they were living in an era before antibiotics and before proper uh, modern medicine and medical intervention was a, a thing. And so people had to live with death constantly being present within their lives. The act of being able to sit on aunt such and such as grave and share a meal with her or with dad or with little Lucy who died of the flu was a way of reconnecting with these people and a way of commemorating that was joyous and normal and uh, easy and it wasn't about grief it was about a celebration of life. Unfortunately there was a rise in rubbish and certain graves would be vandalized. People weren't treating the area with its due consideration and as a result there were actually various laws and restrictions put in place by local councils across America and across the UK to restrict the act of eating and drinking and being merry within graveyards to the point where they would actually check bags and things like that when you were heading into a graveyard to make sure that you weren't carrying picnic items essentially. Uh, there are reports of people just leaving empty tin cans just on people's graves and littering the pathways and so part of the reason that the uh, practice died down is due to those restrictions. As a result, there was an opening for new public spaces to be made and there was a big push for parklands and things like that to be opened. So although culturally the practice of having picnics in graveyards has fallen out of favour and has been out of favour for over a century, there are still some fantastic records of it and in many ways I think that it was a wonderful way to uh, preserve the spaces and use the spaces as living memory. So thank you for watching and please feel free to like and subscribe and let me know your opinions on whether you would be comfortable with people having a picnic in a cemetery. Is that something that you would do? Is that something that you think would be alright? Uh, let me know in the comments. This is India and thank you for watching The History Rescuer.